In this video, I'm going to go over how to use tree diagrams and organized lists to calculate probabilities. So in this first set of examples, I'm going to use um, flipping a coin three times. And these are the outcomes of flipping a coin three times. Here's my tree diagram. And this is my sample space, or these are all my possible outcomes. Now the question is, if you flip a coin three times, what is the probability of flipping at least two tails? So what that means is I'm looking for an outcome that has a tail and a tail. And the order in which it's in doesn't matter. So if I look at this list of outcomes, I'm looking for two tails. So I'm going to circle the ones that are two tails, that have two tails in them. This is the first outcome that has two tails. This is another outcome that has two tails. And here's another one with two tails. And it says at least two tails. This last one has three tails, but there's at least two. So that one counts as well. So then the number of... Um, outcomes that I did get at least two tails on was one, two, three, four. So that's four outcomes. And it was out of a possible eight different outcomes. So the probability would be four eighths, which would simplify to one half. Okay, same problem. If you flip a coin three times, what is the probability of flipping just one head? So now my same tree diagram, my same set of outcomes, my same sample space, I'm looking for the probability of flipping just one head. So I'm going to circle all of the outcomes that have just one head, and it's just one head. Um, the first two have more than one head. This one has two heads. This one does have one head. So we're going to circle that one. Where is it? Uh, the next one has two heads. The next one has one head, so we'll circle that one. The next one has one head. So I have three outcomes, one, two, three, out of eight outcomes that I would get the probability of just one head is three-eighths. All right, in this final um Example, I'm going to look for the probability of flipping one tail and two heads. So the probabli probability of one tail and two heads. So I'm looking for one tail and two heads to show up, and the order doesn't matter. So here's one outcome of one tail and two heads. Here's another outcome of one tail and two heads. Uh, here's a third one, one tail and two heads. And I think that's it. Let me just check. One tail. Yep, that's it. So I have three outcomes that are one tail and two heads out of eight possible outcomes. So the probability of flipping one tail and two heads is three eighths. All right, new problem. You spin the spinner once and you pull one marble from the bag. What's the probability that you will spin a three and pull a green marble from the bag? So my spinner has four outcomes on it, and I know it doesn't look like it, but this is a bag and it's got three marbles in it. One green, one blue, one red. And if I make my tree diagram, um, if I spin a one on the spinner, then I might pull a green, a blue, or a red marble out of the bag. If I spin a two, green, blue, or red, and so on. This is my sample space or my list of outcomes, and there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve total outcomes. So no matter what I do, my probability is based, going to be based upon twelve possible outcomes. Now the one I'm looking for is what's the probability that I spin a three? and I get a green marble when I pull it out of the bag. So I look for outcomes where I'm getting a three, 
and I'm pulling a green marble. And this is the only outcome that will be um, true to fulfill uh, what I'm looking for, my favorable outcomes. That's only one outcome out of 12. So the probability of spinning a three on the spinner and then pulling a green out of the bag is one out of 12. Okay, same problem, uh, just different probability we're looking for. We're gonna spin the spinner once, we're gonna pull one marble out of the bag, and I wanna know what's the probability that you will spin an even number and a red marble. Well, spinning an even number means I'm looking for anything has two or four in it, and I'm looking for a red marble. So I'm looking for two or four and red marble. And I've got one here, an even number in red. And then the next set of even numbers would be four red. I have two outcomes that are an even number and a red marble out of a total of 12. And I can simplify that fraction or that probability to one out of six. All right, last one, same spinner, same marbles in the bag. Now I wanna know what is the probability that you will spin a four, a number four, and a red or a green marble? So I'm looking for now the number four, and I'm looking for either red or green. So that pretty much limits me to this set of um, outcomes right down here. And I have two outcomes. I have four green and I have four red. So those are two of the outcomes that I'm looking for, a four in either red or green. That means I have two outcomes that are favorable out of 12, and that will simplify to the fraction one-sixth. So the probability of spinning a four and choosing either a red or a green marble is going to be one out of six.